Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yoon Jung-min. Iran's unprecedented retaliatory attack on Israel over the weekend is fueling fears of a widespread war in the Middle East. U.S. reports say Israel could be responding as soon as Monday. Moon Hyeryeon leads us off. Following the first ever direct overt attack against Israel by Iran from its own territory on Saturday night, involving more than 300 missiles and drones, global leaders are responding with urgency in a bid to ease escalating tensions. The Wall Street Journal reported that U.S. and Western officials are anticipating retaliatory action by Israel as soon as Monday, but are pushing to prevent hostilities from spiraling further out of control as Israel weighs its response to the attack. U.S. President Joe Biden warned that Washington would not participate in any counteroffensives launched against Iran and would only continue to assist in defending Israel after it helped to shoot down most of the missiles launched on Saturday alongside other allies. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told his counterparts in Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Turkey over separate phone calls to reiterate Washington's stance. However, White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said that what happens next is up to Israel to decide. It's going to be up to the Israelis to decide uh, what, what the next step is here. I will just say this. President Biden, since the beginning of this conflict, has worked very hard to keep this from becoming a broader regional war. Leaders of the wealthy group of seven nations convened a meeting and unanimously condemned Iran's attack. In a statement released by the White House following the meeting, the leaders said that they had demanded Iran seize its attacks and that they stood ready to take further measures in response to future actions that could destabilize the region. The attacks are seen as a response to a suspected Israeli strike on Iran's embassy compound in Syria earlier this month that killed top Revolutionary Guards commanders and after the months-long war in the Gaza Strip that has led to the loss of thousands of civilian lives. That being said, the damage wrought on Israel was minimal. An Air Force base was reported hit but operational, and a child injured by shrapnel. Moon Hyeryeon, Arirang News.